Hey guys, Patriot coming to you from the desktop with another flashlight uh, video. Um, you could probably wonder what uh, all these different lights here are about. Uh, it's nothing more than decoration, guys. I kind of wanted to break up the sea of green, this new background that I'm testing out here, and uh, I thought that I'd uh, give you something to look at. That's about it. Uh, not really chosen in for any particular reason. I just uh, grabbed what was on the shelf and what was easiest to get to. I've got some old and some new in there. Uh, here's one of the now kind of a classic is a Tektite Expedition 1900. This is a 19 5 millimeter LED submersible light made by Tektite. They made most of these out of ABS plastic but did a limited number in uh, machined aluminum. It takes three C cell alkaline batteries and uh, is waterproof to pretty good distance. I can't remember what it is. Not very bright by today's standards, but uh, kind of a classic light. But I'm not going to stretch out the intro any longer. Let's go ahead and get down to uh, the subject matter. You already know from the title of the video that this video is going to be about the Streamlight MicroStream. Uh, and not just kind of your ordinary video. Uh, I've become recently, within the past nine months or so, have become really interested in this light. It kind of went from a light that uh, I thought was so-so, kind of an average performer, um, nothing really special about it. Had a couple of unique features, especially with the newer version with this uh, double clip on it, single mode, tactical style clicky, kind of silly to call it a tactical light, it, it really isn't, but the, the switch style is. Uh, give a momentary press there or a constant on press with a click. About six months ago, I started running lithium-ion 10440 batteries in this light. Now, lithium-ion 10440 batteries are, are not new to me. It's something that uh, I've been running in a variety of AAA lights uh, like the Meritac, the Prion, the ITP uh, upgrade, uh, sort of recently the Thru-Night TI, and uh, a host of other Phoenix lights. Um, uh, of all different uh, LED formulas, but uh, for whatever reason, I never, well, I, I sort of bought this light specifically to start running 10440s in it or to try them out because I, I didn't know uh, what to expect. And, uh, and boy, when I put that 10440 in there, I was astonished at the performance to say the least. Now part of the reason that I waited so long uh, is because I just didn't want to throw a 10440 in there, try to turn it on a few times and, and then uh, you know tell, tell the flashlight community that uh, it's A-OK. -okay. I wanted to run this light for a while and carry it on a daily basis, which, which I have been doing. In any case, this is a video about the performance of the light combined with the 10440 cell, so let's get on to it. Uh, this light in stock configuration uh, is uh, claimed by, uh, <laughs> by Streamlight to make 28 lumens. Depending on the cell you have in there, uh, you know, your typical uh, alkaline uh, cell with 1.5 volt uh, peak voltage, which is going to sag very quickly, that voltage, but you're going to get about 28 lumens. If you run a lithium photo cell, you'll, uh, this is a slightly higher voltage, about 1.7 volts. Boy, I hope that's correct. I, I, it's been a while since I thought about this. This is considered an L92 cell, the AA version being an L91. But uh, this has got just a little bit more voltage, a little bit more oomph behind it, and you'll probably pick up a few lumens. But it's not going to be a lot. You know, you're talking maybe 28 to 35 lumens. Uh, so a very small increase. Well, what I'm running in there now is a lithium-ion 10440 cell. This is a unprotected cell. 500 milliamp hours, or you know, that's what they claim. Uh, is you're not going to really see that in use, especially uh, in a direct drive mode in a light like this or some of these other lights that I showed you earlier. But uh, you'll see that I've kind of got a history of doing some uh, AAA uh, flashlight videos with the 10440 cell, and and I show that I demonstrate that it can be done without hurting the light. Well. It's not always the case. It is possible uh, because that voltage jumps from 1.5, 1.7 in the case of the L92 cell, and 1.2 volts in the case of a rechargeable uh, nickel metal hydride type of cell, which this is not one. I don't have one out here, but uh, 
uh, it's even a little bit less voltage but depends on how much load is under it you'll actually uh, it can maintain uh, uh, that current a little bit better anyhow I'm, I'm rambling now but um, what I'm tr what I'm trying to get to is this cell this 10440 cell like uh, all cylinder type lithium ion cells or like most of this chemistry it's 4.2 volts so we're going all the way from 1.5 1.7 all the way up to 4.2 volts uh, so, you know, we've really increased the voltage, so I'm not going to just throw this in there, have it work a couple times, and then tell you guys it's okay, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, so I've been running this light, and not only have I been running this light for nine months now on a daily basis, or practically a daily basis, uh, I've got two other people that have been running Streamlight MicroStreams with uh, 10440 cells and uh, so far so good and uh, I've, I'm, I've actually got two of these I gave one away uh, but I had been running uh, this on a 10440 cell this is the oldest one and uh, boy it's really doing good I mean um, not a single problem not a single glitch and the other two people that are running this flashlight with the 10440 uh, are really impressed with it like staggeringly impressed the first I the first time uh, DC I'll just go ahead and tell you who one of them is uh, the first time DC ran this uh, flashlight with a 10440 cell he couldn't believe it and he's been carrying the thing as far as I know still on a pretty much daily basis and uh, uh, it was uh, there was a, a period of time there where we probably didn't uh, go past each other without uh, lighting each other up so it's a, a really impressive little light I'm gonna go ahead and, and show you some beam shots that I did uh, yesterday during the daytime so uh, stay tuned okay and now on to the Streamlight MicroStream with 10440 you can see what a focused tight hotspot that is compared to the other lights. Let's compare that to the Prion 1. There's a Prion 1 on high, very bright light. And there's a microstream on the left. Really a big difference. Microstream on the left. Go back to more of a regular standard. This is going to be the Meritac AAA. I'm going to turn that on high. And here is the streamlight. And the uh, the Meritax is a really good performing light. I mean, it really does well. But compared to the streamlight, I mean, it's just in, in throw. There's there's no comparison. It's night and day. Okay, guys. I hope that that was helpful. That you could at least see the beam pattern and the intensity to a certain level uh, that that would be uh, that would be helpful to you. So um, the reason that I am not going out in the backyard at nighttime and showing you these is because the, we're still talking about a, a a small number of lumens compared to uh, well, like this 1800 lumen Boxer HID light from uh, who is it from? <laughs> Wolf Eyes. So. Uh, you know we don't have that kind of light to deal with and the camera just can't pick it up so I did a daytime uh, test with the uh, with the curtain shut uh, just to kind of show you the beam pattern so where what kind of lumens is this putting out right now well we go from about 28 lumens up to somewhere in the neighborhood of 120 to 100, 140 lumens by my uh, light meter uh, so it doesn't measure lumens you need some different equipment to do that but in uh, some ceiling bounce tests that's about where this light falls in uh, with some other well-known lights right between 120 and 140 well that is a, a decent amount of light uh, for a 10440 power AAA, it's still not as much as this Prion. This Prion's pushing 180 lumens. Uh, depends kind of on the cell, up to 200 lumens. Uh, this has a different emitter in it, though. Uh, this Meritac, uh, somewhere around 150, 160 lumens. And uh, this one's been really impressive. This is uh, pretty much uh, matching the pace of, uh, which is the, I'm sorry, I didn't even say what it was. This is the Through Night. I don't know if you can read that there the through night and this is the through night TI it's a two mode light and uh, it's just about uh, it's pretty much right there with the prion but um, where this makes it up is in the throw department which you saw in the video so it's actually less lumens than all of these other lights that I showed you but 
it throws better. So it culminates that light with that reflector. That combined with what I think, I'm not sure, I think it's an XRE emitter and it doesn't appear to have a dome on it. I looked at it with a loop and I, I couldn't see a, a dome that is pretty recognizable in the Meritac. You see a little clear polycarbonate dome over that LED. Well this one doesn't seem to have that and I, it looks like an XRE which is a very small emitter. The smaller the emitter, the emitter is, the better the chance it has of producing a lot of throw. So even though we've just we've got a little whatever this is, perhaps a 12 millimeter reflector, uh, might even be a little bit less than that. Here, let's just look really quick. Uh, 13 millimeter to the inside here. So yeah, 12 to 13 millimeter. Despite that little 12 to 13 millimeter reflector, it really does great, as you guys saw. I'm kind of doing this in reverse order, and I'm forgetting that I just uh, showed you that video, or the video that I'll be mixing in. Uh, this, uh, this LED, they, Streamlight actually calls it a C4, and uh, they don't, <laughs> I'm not even sure if they actually disclose what C4 is. They try to say, they, they give the impression to the consumer that C4 is some kind of a super duper uh, LED. Well, C4 has nothing to do with the, the type of LED. They've used the designation C4 in different stream lights that have completely different emitters and they still call it a C4. And all C4 is, uh, or all it stands for, or where they got that name from, is uh, it's uh, a controlled collapse chip connection. And basically all that is, is it's a fancy advertising way of describing an industry standard uh, of attaching electrical components to circuit boards. And that's all that, uh, all that C4 thing is. I kind of wish that Streamlight didn't do that. I wish that they'd be a little bit more honest and kind of upfront and just tell you exactly what they're doing. But it does give them the, the latitude to kind of uh, change emitters at, at will without having to change the um, the packaging and, and whatnot. And there's other reasons for it as well, which uh, you guys can see on Kendall Power Forms if you go over there and kick around. I really like the uh, the simplicity. And what I was saying is that I, I like to carry two different flashlights, one multi-mode and one uh, just a, this, this light will do what this one won't, and this one will do what this one won't. This doesn't have the throw, this does. This doesn't have the multi-modes and long run time, this one does. Any of these multi-mode uh, double uh, triple A lights, of course, are going to give you all kinds of options for runtime. You know, you could set this up on on low mode, set it on its tail uh, like this, and illuminate a room at nighttime uh, with plenty of light. Uh, it, it acts as a great night light, or a hurricane light, or a survival light, or a tornado light, or or whatever uh, somebody might need uh, long term uh, lighting for. So this won't do it. The others do. All right, you guys, in closing, I just want to thank all my subscribers, all my viewers, all those who make suggestions, comments, like my videos. Uh, it's, it's really been great, and it's surprising to see it growing, even when the videos have been so far and few between. But uh, that'll be changing here, and I'll be getting a, a video a week back up again. So thanks for hanging in there with me, and uh, thanks to Candle Power Forums, because uh, without that forum, I wouldn't have the knowledge that I do on this subject. So thanks for watching, you guys. God bless. Patriot out.